Troubadour. What is up guys? Welcome back to another video of What Up Bites. Today I have a cool challenge. 25 bucks for this box. And it comes with a couple goodies. In this, it includes everything right here. So there's the fire line, the flicker shad, the other flicker shad, gulp minnow, and their chick head. So super simple. It is one of a bite, so I guess my goal is to catch five fish out of this box. I don't know how long it's gonna take. It's a beautiful day. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it right now, just so that I can put the line onto my rod, and then let's go and head on over to the lake. Alright guys, I hope you guys are with me. I'm at a beautiful spot here. I don't know how well it looks to you guys, but it looks super gorgeous. And I have a feeling that I will be catching fish. All right guys, perfect day today. The Mississippi is killing me though. This dang challenge has been a struggle. This is like day three. So I don't know how many hours that is, but I'm definitely, definitely been putting a lot of work and trying to catch one fish. So I guess setting a limit of five fish was not a bad idea. Gorgeous day out. I'm on a completely new body of water. I came up the Mississippi about 20 minutes and I don't know if you guys can tell but the water is super low it's probably down by a good seven to eight foot of water I got pants on and I think I should take it off go out wade a couple feet that way and you know try to find the deeper water because I have a feeling the fish are are there I really have a good feeling that I'm gonna catch, catch a fish today but I might have to wait out just a bit to catch them. So day three guys, I didn't give up yet. Let's get this dang box out of the way. Stay tuned. It might be a good one. There's a lot of there's a lot of critters here. Especially this beautiful looking frog. And then I definitely gotta be careful if I want to wait. There's tons of dead crawfish. But like everywhere. Right there. There's a ton of those oyster shells, so I gotta be really careful because uh, it could definitely do some damage to the feet. Hey guys, I'm gonna go in. Oh man, the water's warm. It's nice and cool. I have a feeling I could walk out pretty far. Oh guys, I have never seen this before. It's a actual like live oyster or muscle, whatever this is. Just gonna tap it. Oh, 
it's alive. Holy crap. This thing's alive. Oh, did you see that? It just spit out water. That's pretty cool. Place him back. Dismiss. Man, there's a ton of mussels here. You know, I don't I never knew if these are edible. Oh, that's a nice cast. Okay. Feels like I'm in the money, the money zone right now. Yo, I found a grenade. This thing bait right here guys, I give up alright. This challenge is absolutely a challenge. I have been fishing my butt off, alright. I had two strikes with this bait and there's another crank bait. And honestly guys, if I just catch five fish with this thing gulp, I'm gonna call it because it's been going on. I've been dragging for three days. That is the biggest hand I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. Finally, I freaking did it, guys. Finally, finally, finally. Oh! I caught me a walleye, guys. With the walleye box. How awesome is that? Oh. Guys, 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 guys. I freaking did it. The first fish of the box after three days. All right, it's a walleye. I cannot believe it. After three freaking days, and I finally caught me a walleye. It's probably like 12 inches, but hey. Berkeley box, I threw back in the water. Berkeley box came in finally after three days. To you guys the truth guys i've been throwing the flicker shad for the past three days and i haven't been really paying attention to this dang gulp but i know that the gulp will catch them but i don't think i'm gonna tie that flicker shad anymore i'm just gonna keep fishing and try and see how many fish i could fish or catch with the gulp <sighs> the first one happens to be a walleye how awesome is that That is just, that is just too, too dang, too dang awesome, guys. I can't believe I did it. I was in doubt for the past three days. This is day three. I was in doubt that I was gonna catch a fish, period. Like I said, guys, I'm, I quit with that flicker shad. Um, not saying that the flicker shad don't catch fish. A um, couple minutes before I caught this walleye, I hooked up to a smallmouth upriver to my left, and just sadly, I didn't land it, but screw that. I quit with that flick shad. I came back down to this part of the river that I did my last video at because uh, I was catching fish. I was trying not to come back here because, well, I already filmed here, but it left me no choice. I was struggling, and so I just gave it some thought and I 
say, you know what? I'm gonna come back this way. And definitely, definitely, definitely paid off. That is just, that is just too, too dang awesome, guys. I If you guys made it this far guys, I am too stoked, alright? Originally, the challenge was 5 fish limit, but before even starting this video, I was looking for the bass one, simply because I wanted to catch some bass, but Cabela's didn't have the bass Berkeley kit, so I bought the walleye one, expecting to go catch smallmouth, alright? My hopes for catching a walleye was nowhere near Put in short, I did not think I was gonna catch a walleye. And the first fish I caught in three days happens to be a walleye. And so I'm ending the video right there, guys. I caught me a Minnesota walleye. It's a state fish that I just happened to never catch. Weber gang, if you guys made it this far, shout out to you guys. It's literally one fish in this video, but guys, aren't you guys excited? I definitely am. If you guys are not, stay tuned guys. There's gonna be a lot more fish and a lot more videos along with challenge coming your way. We're beginning, I'm out. Like always, set that hook and uh, whatever bites, I'm out.